Why the Grand Canyon is so unique? This majestic natural wonder, nestled in the heart of Arizona, is unlike any other on our planet. It is a testament to the power and artistry of nature, an awe-inspiring spectacle that leaves visitors breathless. The Grand Canyon's distinctiveness lies in its sheer size and the layered bands of red rock that paint a fascinating picture of Earth's geological past. Stretching over 277 miles long, up to 18 miles wide and a mile deep, the canyon is a visual tapestry of reds, oranges, and browns that change with the shifting sunlight. Each layer of rock represents a different era in our planet's history, a silent record etched over millions of years. The Grand Canyon is more than just a stunning landscape, it's a window into the deep past, offering us a glimpse into the ageless beauty of our world. The Grand Canyon is not just a sight to behold, but a monument to Earth's history. So, how did the Grand Canyon come to be? Well, the answer lies millions of years in the past and in the tireless work of a single river. The Colorado River, a mighty force of nature, began carving its course through the rock layers of what we now know as the Grand Canyon. This incredible process took place over an unimaginable span of time, a testament to the gradual yet persistent power of erosion. The Grand Canyon's formation is a story of water against stone. The Colorado River, fueled by rain and snowmelt, cut its way through the rock layer by layer. The river, in its relentless pursuit of a path, encountered different types of rock. Some were hard and resistant, others were soft and easily eroded. These differences in resistance are what gave the Grand Canyon its distinctive layered appearance. But it wasn't just the river at work. The region's climate played a part too. Over the ages the area experienced periods of heavy rainfall, causing flooding. These floods would rush into the canyon, further deepening and widening it. Then there were periods of drought, during which wind erosion took over, smoothing and shaping the canyon walls. Geologists have long studied the Grand Canyon, and it continues to be a subject of debate and research. Some subscribe to the antecedents theory which suggests that the Colorado River established its course before the uplift of the Colorado Plateau. The river, they propose, simply maintained its course while the plateau rose around it. Others believe in the superimposition theory, arguing that the river established its course after the uplift, cutting through the plateau over time. These theories, while different, both highlight the incredible geological journey of the Grand Canyon, a journey that began millions of years ago and continues to this day. Every raindrop, every gust of wind, every rush of the Colorado River contributes to the ongoing formation of this magnificent natural wonder. And so, we see that the birth of the Grand Canyon isn't a single event, but a continuous process. A process that showcases the unyielding power of nature, the persistence of time, and the ever-changing face of our planet. The Grand Canyon is indeed a testament to the power of water over time. The Grand Canyon's history isn't just geological but also human. From the ancient Puebloan people to the Native American tribes and later European explorers and settlers, the Grand Canyon has been a witness to the ebbs and flows of human civilization for thousands of years. In the beginning, the ancient Puebloan people, who lived in the region around 2,000 years ago, left behind traces of their existence in the form of petroglyphs and artifacts. They appreciated the canyon's grandeur, using its resources for survival, and it's believed they considered it a spiritual site. Centuries later, Native American tribes such as the Hopi, Navajo, and Havasupai made the Grand Canyon their home. Their deep connection to the land is still evident today, with many tribes considering the canyon sacred. The Hopi, for instance, believe their ancestors' spirits reside in the canyon, making it a spiritual sanctuary. The arrival of Europeans brought a different perspective. Spanish explorer Garcia López de Cárdenas in 1540 became the first European to gaze upon the Grand Canyon's vast expanse. However, it wasn't until the late 19th century that the area began to draw significant attention from settlers. Prospectors, miners, and pioneers arrived, drawn by the promise of wealth, adventure, and a new life. The Grand Canyon's status changed dramatically in the early 20th century. President Theodore Roosevelt, an ardent outdoorsman, visited the canyon in 1903 and was so moved by its beauty that he pushed for its preservation. His efforts culminated in 1916 with the establishment of the National Park Service, leading to the Grand Canyon's designation as a national park in 1919. Since then, the Grand Canyon has become a living testament to the human struggle, resilience, and our ever-evolving relationship with the natural world. 
It stands today, not only as a geological marvel, but also as a symbol of human history and cultural diversity. The Grand Canyon is a living museum of human history. Today, the Grand Canyon continues to captivate and inspire. This colossal chasm carved by the Colorado River is more than just a breathtaking sight. It's a bustling hub of activity, a magnet for tourists, and a treasure trove for scientists. Each year, millions of people from all corners of the globe flock to this natural wonder, eager to witness its majesty firsthand. They gaze in awe at the miles of layered rock, each stratum telling a tale of Earth's past. But the Grand Canyon is not just for sightseeing, it's a playground for the adventurous, offering exhilarating hikes, thrilling whitewater rafting and serene mule rides. It's also a living laboratory for scientists, who study its geology to unravel the secrets of our planet. Beyond its physical allure, the Grand Canyon serves as a poignant reminder of nature's raw power and timeless beauty, a symbol that resonates with us all. The Grand Canyon, an enduring symbol of nature's grandeur, continues to fascinate us. So, what makes the Grand Canyon so unique? This is a question that has been posed and answered throughout our journey today. The Grand Canyon is more than just an awe-inspiring spectacle of nature. It's a testament to the power of time and the tenacity of life. This majestic landscape is a book of Earth's history, written in the language of geology, with each layer telling a distinct chapter of the past two billion years. The Grand Canyon's human history is equally rich, bearing witness to the lives of Native American tribes, pioneers, explorers, and countless visitors. Today, it continues to inspire and captivate, serving as a playground for outdoor enthusiasts and a sanctuary for those seeking solitude and reflection. The Grand Canyon's grandeur lies in its ability to connect us to our world's ancient past and to remind us of our place within it. Whether you're a nature lover, a history buff, or just someone who appreciates beauty, the Grand Canyon has something for everyone.